Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Slay the Spire on iOS with me, Jalanon. Uh, it looks like we have unlocked the Watcher, the character I know the least about in Slay the Spire. I have to admit, I stopped watching as many videos once this character came out, uh, just because I was doing other stuff. Well, yeah, it looks like we can embark, so why not? Uh, the Watcher is a blind ascetic who has come to evaluate the Spire, master of the divine stances. Pure water at the start of each combat, add a miracle into your hand. Yeah, it looks like we can start. Okay. Well, cool. Greetings. I brought you back. To uh, evaluate the spire. Yeah, I heard. Uh, let's do max HP. Grant. I will be a little miffed if we see an elite within three combats. But no. It looks like I chose correctly. So... We have a couple of options of what we want to do. I kind of want to do a bunch of events, so let's do this. I don't really know this character well either. Hmm, maybe I should have done more combats first. So Miracle, retain, gain energy. Does retain just mean I keep it after I play it? I guess so. Hmm. Okay, then we have Strike, deal 6 damage, Defend should be, what, block 5 still? Yep. Hmm. So we're defending twice. Striking once. Let's play Miracle just because. Okay, does it go back in? No. So Retain must mean that it just stays in your hand until you play it. Got it. Okay. Well, we dealt some extra damage because of it. So that's good. Eruption. Deal 9 damage and enter Wrath Stance. Vigilance. Gain 8 block. Enter Calm Stance. Hmm. So... Let's strike. And then enter Calm Stance. Because I think... Okay, upon exiting the stance, gain 2 energy. Okay. Do we deal less damage while in Calm, quote-unquote? Because it's more of a defensive stance? Hmm. I do not know much about this character yet. Let's see, we're still in Calm Stance. We can enter Wrath. Okay, so now we're in Wrath. We do deal more damage, and that is enough to win. Okay, then. So yeah, it looks like at least Strikes are dealing more damage. I didn't check the block. Oops. Okay, Protect, Retain, and Gain 12 block for 2. Interesting. That is technically more efficient than two defends. Sands of Time. Retain. Deal 20 damage. When retained, lower its cost by one this combat. Ooh. Okay. Empty body. Gain 7 block. Exit your stance. So it's a cheaper block card. And it forces you to exit your stance so then you probably gain energy. At least when you exit Calm. I want to try Sands of Time now. I want to be the Prince of Persia. Booyah. Anyway. Okay, cultist. Uh, yeah, we can do this. So, okay, it does not affect our block amount. Good. Now we are striking. And we have a miracle. Oh. Extra strike damage. Okay. So that was a very high damage initial turn. That is fascinating. Uh, so we could enter Vigilance and then defend fully. I think that's what we're going to do, right? And then we don't gain extra block being in Calm. Hmm. It's just upon exiting the stance we gain extra energy. Okay. I should double check what it says when I enter Wrath by hovering over my character. But, uh, yeah, I think we understand Wrath pretty well deal double damage pretty much um, in fact we win here boink uh, your attacks deal double damage and you take double damage from attacks that's the issue boink okay wallop deal 9 damage gain block equal to unblocked damage dealt that's interesting so it basically works really well with wrath because you deal double damage, 
And then you'd also gain back even more defense, technically. Hmm. Crush joints, deal eight damage. The last card played this combat was a skill. Also apply one vulnerable. Okay. And then Sash Whip. Deal eight damage. If the last card played this combat was an attack, apply one weak. So those are nice. And since we like using our enter anger state, let's get crushed joints. Sounds interesting. Wouldn't want to see that chiropractor though. Just to, you know. You find yourself in a room filled with racks of test tubes, speakers, flasks, forceps, pinch clamps, stirring rods, tongs, goggles, funnels, pipettes, cylinders, condensers, and even a rare spiral tube of glass. Why do you know the name of all these tools? It doesn't matter. You take a look around. Ooh, we get three potions. Still chaos. Flex potion. That'll be great with our anger stance. And blessing of the forge. Okay. So, yeah, I think we do this one. Okay. We have a miracle on hand. Well, we should probably just defend. Oop. Yoink. End our turn. And then we retain both of those cards. That's cool. Hmm. Does that affect how many we draw them? No. Okay. So Vigilance works. Sands of Time. I mean, let's do that. Okay, and it does stick around. Does it? it does keep its cost. Okay, so keeping it in your hand till it reaches zero. Yeah, that seems cool. Uh, we could use Miracle here for no good reason. Let's keep it around. Because once we crush joints, we're going to want to be able to do more stuff, I think. Alright. So we have options. Eruption. Oh, we do have Weakened right now. Hmm. Well. Eruption, crush joints. Maybe we crush joints first because eruption deals more damage. And then we enter wrath. Then we'd be able to deal one more strike. We would take a bunch of damage though. But I think it is still well, now we'd take twenty damage. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's not do that. Let's get rid of slime instead. Crush joints will only last one turn, so strike is technically better, I think, right? No. Crush joints deals more damage anyway. Okay. And we'll do that and not take a ton of damage. Okay. So our combo, unfortunately, did not quite work out. We'll defend twice. We'll retain Sands of Time. It'll be just too... It kind of doesn't matter if I use Miracle here, so we will. Okay. Then we just Sands of Time and win. Okay. You like... There we go. Alright, weak potion. Sure. Oh, wait. Hmm. No, I think we like what we've got. So we have halt, gain three block. If you are in wrath, gain nine additional block. Okay. So if we wanted to just go wrath stance all the time, that could be useful. Sanctity. Gain six block. The last card played this combat was a skill. Draw two cards. That's good. Sash whip. Deal eight damage. You've seen this one before. Um, let's take Sanctity. Right? I don't think we know enough to just go straight Wrath build. I might be wrong here. But, yeah. Hello, merchant. Fear no evil. Deal eight damage if the enemy intends to attack. Enter Calm. So we could enter Calm basically cheaper and deal damage. Nice. Hmm, a flurry of blows. Deal four damage. Whenever you change stances, return this from the discard pile to your hand. And it's free. Deal eight damage and wrath. Hmm. 
battle hand. At the start of each turn, add a smite to your hand. Ooh, deal 12 damage and exhaust. Okay. I like that. Perseverance. Retain, gain 5 block. When retained, increase its block by 2 this combat. That's cool. Forethought. Put a card from your hand at the bottom of your draw pile. Costs 0 until played. Okay, so we've only got 136. But I like the idea of both Battle Him and Perseverance. Hmm. Well... But Perseverance probably isn't good enough. Battle him on the other hand. Sure. Then we'll remove, like, a uh, normal strike. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I think we're happy with that. Let's go here. What can we upgrade? Okay. We gain more block. Eruption becomes cheaper. That would be good. Sense of time just deals more damage. Which is also good. Oh, battle him becomes innate. That's really good for us, if we want to do that. Hmm. Sanctity, more block, basically. Crush joints, more vulnerable. That could be really good. I think let's go battle him. Yeah, we'll try that. Let's try this elite. Oh, Lagavulin. Okay, so let's play Battle Him for sure. We can retain Sands of Time. We'll retain our Miracle. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a really good attack turn set up. Okay, yeah, we've got our Smite. We've got our Sands of Time. Crush Joints. The vulnerable won't stick around long enough. Sanctity. Yeah, we don't need any of that either. So let's just hold this. We're just waiting for our eruption, really. Oh, and we gained another smite. I did not realize that was going to be a thing. Huh. Okay. I think we do eruption. Boop. Then we do miracle. Smite. Smite. Then Sands of Time will be cheaper next turn. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, so Sands of Time is going to deal 40 damage. Yoink. And Smite will deal 24. Yeah, that went perfectly. Okay, well, I'm liking the Watcher. Uh, frozen Egg, whenever you add a power card into your deck. Ooh, upgrade. That's nice. Okay, Rush Down is a power card. Whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. Fasting plus, gain four strength, gain four dex, gain one less energy at the start of each turn. I don't really like that. Except we do have the Sands of Time. So if we can wait, that might be worth it. It doesn't go away. Does the minus one energy stack? That would be interesting, but I think we'd prefer Rush Down, if anything. Yeah. And we're not going to take Bowling Bash. Okay, let's go here and upgrade some stuff, like Wrath, or Eruption, I should say. Um, we could increase our sense of time as well. Mm. Let's see. Well, the extra vulnerable would be nice. Hmm. Hmm. So it's basically this one or the other one. Let's just do this one, since this is becoming a pretty important part of our strategy, I think. Let's take this. It's a pair. Ooh, more max HP. I'll take that. Moving on. What do you have for me? Spore clouds. Okay. Hmm. How rude. 
Well, death applies to vulnerable. Yep. Just great. So battle him. We can defend twice. We don't need to attack right now. We take no damage. That's not bad. Okay, then. So now we'll get our smite card. So crush joint smite. Sanctity. So if we play this, we gain two more cards. Do we care about drawing cards? It does also give us defense. And just to double check. Eruption, smite, basically KOs this other dude. Okay, and then we still couldn't afford Sands of Time and we take 18 damage. So yeah, let's do Sanctity. Let's see if we can't defend better. Because as much as I'd like to just win, you know. Um, I think we better not die. I think that's more important before the boss. Okay. Yeah. We'll be able to KO this guy anyway with our next laser of Smite. Smite laser. Okay. We'll play Rushdown for free. Okay, we have Vigilance here, and then Defend. Yep. Vigilance. We will use our Miracle to Defend here. Okay. And then we'll have Sands of Time. It'll be pretty cheap. And then we can pretty much just win. Yeah. Yeah. Yoink. Okay. Well, that worked. Um. Well, I don't think we're going to take any of these. Oh, Swill. Gain 8 block. The next attack you play costs 0. That'd be really good if we had a very expensive attack. But we're trying to retain our sense of time and everything. What does Scry do? Look at the top cards of your drop pile. You may discard any of them. That seems real good. Okay. Let's take Cut Through Fate. We are probably gaining a few too many cards, but they're awesome cards. So I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. So we have a slime that will split once it gets far enough down in damage. Hmm. Let's do a rush down. We're gonna enter our wrath state. We don't need to defend or anything. I'm going to play Battle Him. This is, what, a skill card? Hmm. So, okay, if I crush joints, I deal 16 damage. That leaves him at 40, and then we deal 12 damage. Plus a little bit more from the vulnerable. So he'd be at about 28 or less. Then he'd be trying to split. No real need for that. Let's just do that for now. Too bad I can't retain any other cards, like Crush Joints. But I think this will work just fine. So he did weaken us, but we're still dealing a lot of damage. Okay. Cut through fate. I think we're going to cut through fate here. Oop. Okay, let's discard defend. Confirm. So then it should, yeah. It ensures we get our strike. So we're definitely using Smite. And then we're using Strike, Miracle, Strike. Okay. I'm liking Wrath. Hmm. Swift Potion. Oh, drawing more cards. Um, Distilled Chaos might be better. Hmm. Let's discard you and take that. Uh, we have another cut through fate. That is pretty useful. Hmm. Meditate would make us enter calm and end our turn after we used it. Empty body, gain seven block, exit your stance. Could be good. Hmm. In some ways though, we may want another cut through fate. Would that be too many? I don't think so. It's strictly better than our strikes. 
Let's take it. That might help us find what we need before big ol' combats and things. With bosses. Okay. Well, we're using Battle Him. Sanctity. Gain six block. Okay, well, let's defend. Then use Sanctity. Okay. Do I want to use any of these for any reason? Uh, not really. I would like to find Sands of Time, though. Get it to be cheaper. Hmm. Yeah. We'll go ahead and cut through fate. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of defend. Right? Well, no, we don't even need to get rid of that. Well, I think we do if we want to ensure we draw our sands of time. And make it cheaper. There we go. Oh no, my money. I worked hard for that money. Okay, well, if we use eruption, smite... And then rush down. We're definitely doing that. Uh, yeah, we might be able to just win here. If I can draw... Yeah, which I should. We're going to do that. Draw two cards. Strike, 12 damage. And you do 14. Let's use our smite first, if I can. There we go. Boink. And actually, I don't even need to worry about it. We just end it. Give me my money back. Okay. Oh, and we got some more money. Dex potion. Oh, dexterity is good. But I think we're happy with what we've got. Especially with our wrath ability. Or stance. From eruption. Yeah. Any cards we want. Ooh. Crescendo. So we could enter wrath more frequently, but we don't need it, because we're already drawing cards pretty well with our cut through fates, and other stuff. Inner peace would make us enter calm, which we don't really care about right now. Other than the fact that once you exit calm, yeah, that could be good. Hmm. Flurry of blows doesn't cost anything. Okay, hmm. I think we will take inner peace. All right. Let's move on. Okay then. What do we have here? Well, let's do a battle him. We can defend. Um, there's a chance we could find what we want by cutting through fate. Cut through fate. No. Okay, well, we'll just confirm that. Okay, we did draw our defend. Um, I could use Miracle Defend, but I don't think we care. One damage isn't going to break the bank right now. And we did get weakened. That's annoying. Okay. Um, but... Let's see, rush down... We'll draw cards when we enter Wrath. Eruption will not KO that guy. Hmm. But we'll enter Wrath state. Let's do that. Then smite you. Strike you should end it. Yeah. And then if we wanted to, we could do Miracle. And then, let's see, that's 9 damage. That's 10. I get rid of you. Yoink. Okay. Then we wait. And next turn we can just Sands of Time for win. Alright. Or a smite. Or whatever. I'm just trying to play it. Okay. Stance Potion. Enter Calm or Wrath. Ooh, that's actually real good. Let's get rid of Distilled Chaos, maybe. Take our Stance Potion. Okay, Meditate, Fear No Evil, Flurry of Blows. Let's not worry about any of those. And continue. Alright then. What do we find here? Lesson learned. 
Deal 10 damage. If fatal, upgrade a random card in your deck. Is that forever? Hmm. If it's forever, that could be really good. If it's not, yeah. I'm not super impressed then. Uh, scry 1, gain 2 block, deal 3 damage. Hmm. That's cool. Hmm. Don't think we need it though. Yeah, it doesn't force us to draw. So maybe that's real good. Deva form, at the start of your turn, gain energy and increase this gain by one. So wait, 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 does that stack over time? Well, we can't afford it anyway, but that's super cool if that's true. Hmm. Well, we're removing a card for sure. Um, let's remove a defect. I think being pretty balanced will be good for us right now. And we can't afford just lucky. We can't sell potions. So, onward we go. What can we upgrade? Hmm. What do we want to upgrade? Probably crush joints. But just double checking. Scry 3. Is that better for us or not? Because technically we wouldn't know exactly what we're drawing then. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going with crush joints. Crushing those joints. Okay. We are the worst chiropractor. Alright, bell him. We're facing slime boss. Hmm. Let's battle him. Do we want to cut through fate? Because we probably don't want to... Well, we do want to draw our Sands of Time. Okay, we can get rid of Vigilance for now. Okay, we will draw Crush Joints. That does make him vulnerable. We'll do that. Let's see if we can't find the thing we want. Okay, so if we discard Eruption, that means we're not drawing it. But that means we won't get it next turn. Oh, well. I think that'll still work out in the future. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're closer to the card we wanted. Oop. Except for those slimes. That kind of makes things a little annoying. Um, He's not vulnerable still, is he? No. Apparently I did not play the skill first, so I missed that. Whoops. Um, we can enter Calm. It doesn't hurt us right now. Um, do I use Smite or keep it? I think I keep it. So let's just use our strikes here. Okay. Because we want to combo Smite with Eruption when we can. Hopefully we gain eruption here. Currently in calm. Hmm. So let's play defend. Sanctity. What do we get? Eruption, finally. Uh, if we play that, we're pretty much dead, right? Oh, we gain two energy. So we can play Smite twice. Okay. I think we're going to risk it. If I'm right on my math, 24 twice would let us get him down to half health. Hmm. We can drink this as well, so we will. Well, we don't need to draw more cards yet. So let's do that. And that. Okay. Sands of Time. We could instantly KO one of the dudes. So if one of them is going to attack, we already have an answer for it. And if not, we're okay. Hmm. Well, we're doing this. I think we're good. We have our smite. And as long as we have another strike or something. Ah, well, weakened. I take it back. 
Um, let's see, smite is not a skill, but doesn't matter. We don't need to crush joints. There we go. Yeah. I think that was the easiest slime boss so far. We're taking Distilled Chaos. Ooh. Deus Ex Machina. Unplayable. When you draw this card, add two miracles to your hand and exhaust. So it goes away automatically, but then we get more miracles. That's pretty cool. Uh, Ragnarok. Deal five damage to a random enemy five times. Now, that's 25 damage. And then think of it doubled. That's 50 damage. That's not bad. But it is three energy. And of course, we'd have to be in Wrath Stance. If we're not in Wrath Stance ahead of time, and we don't have the energy for it, it's just a dead card. Lesson learned. Deal 10 damage a fatal upgrade or random card. I am interested in how that's going to work. But I'd also rather just have Deus Ex Machina. Because it sounds fun. And when God is on your side, you know, things work out. Eventually. Not always in a way that's comfortable. Uh, Astrobabe. On Palm Pickup, transform three cards, then upgrade them. So they become a random card of any rarity. Ooh. It could be great, could be terrible. Rusted Crown, gain energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. Honestly, we're pretty set with what we've got. In some ways. So I feel like that'd be fine. Uh, curse Key. Yeah, we don't really want that compared to the Busted Crown, I think. Yeah. I think we have enough damage. What we're really lacking is defense. But if we can deal enough damage, it doesn't matter. Mm, yeah. Hmm. So we've only got 117 gold. I see one early merchant. Any other merchants? Anyway. On the right side and the left side only. Okay. Uh, more bonfires if we go to the right side, it looks like, maybe? Or they're equal. Equal. Right and left side have the same amount of bonfires. We could avoid the elite, but we don't want to avoid the elite, do we? No. Okay. So we can just go left or just go right. Let's go left. Just because. Thievery. How crude. Okay. Anyway. Let's do... Actually, let's think. So 9 plus 20 plus 12 would be 32... Not enough to KO anybody. Okay. So. Battle him. Hmm. We're definitely trying to defend here. Uh, I can crush joints and get the vulnerable off. Could draw more cards. Uh, well. I can use this potion, enter calm. Then play eruption. Immediately gain two more energy. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Let's enter calm. So now we're calm. Hmm. This might be a terrible decision. Let's do the swift potion first. Okay. So, if we use eruption, we'll have three energy, and then we can miracle. This is kind of strange, but I think we're just going to do it. Okay, so we did that. We can cut through fate. We can get sands of time. Why not? Oh, I did the wrong thing. Ah, uh, my brain. Okay, so two strikes is not enough to KO. Is this a skill card? It is. So crush joints. Strike. And then... Hmm. Yeah. Let's drink this. So we entered Vigilance. So we got rid of that. Um... 
Let's do this. We'll enter rush down with our power. And then we can strike. Okay, so that worked out pretty well, but we used all of our potions. Still think that was probably what we should have done, just because we don't want to take too much damage. Ooh, two miracles. Okay. Um, Sanctity. Hmm. Smite. Inner Peace, we're in Calm right now. So we can draw three cards, get a better idea of what we can do. Uh, well, we can just defend twice, too. Um, first, let's get rid of some cards from our hand. By defending a little bit. Let's smite. No, actually, let's cut through fate. Um, vigilance is better than defend, right? Actually, we'll just discard both of those. Okay, so we have that. So we should be closer to our next eruption. Alright. He just mugged us. That's not great. Okay, now we have eruption. My hand is full. Smite. Doesn't matter. Okay, we got our gold back. We got a power potion. Okay. Add a card to your hand. Hmm. Conclude. That's cool. But I'm not going to take it. Okay. Let's move on. And call it a day, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Slay the Spire. Subscribe to see more iOS gaming videos. Comment below on your favorite watcher builds. And have a great day, dear viewer.